Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python for Testers tutorial, we are going to learn variable rules in Python. So, understanding the rules of variables within Python is important because whenever you are defining variables into Python file or in the test automation that we'll be doing, you need to understand what are the valid variables that you can define, what are invalid variables that you need to understand while defining the variable. So the first point if you see on my screen is basically the variable name must always start with a letter or the underscore character. That's the first rule. Second thing is that you cannot start variable name with a number and we'll see all it in action. I'll create a file and I'll explain you. So it's not just this PPT presentation. I'll explain a lot more about these rules. Third point is variable name cannot can only contain alphanumeric characters and underscore. So from capital A to Z and then small a to Z and then from number zero to nine and underscore characters. Okay, so underscores basically. So only alphanumeric characters and underscore. So that's another important point. Then variable names are case sensitive. This is very important point because say for example, you are defining the variable as lowercase rcv underscore academy and then capital or uppercase rcv underscore uppercase a and then rest all academy characters as lowercase and then rcv underscore academy all uppercase then these all three variables are different variables okay so if you define these three then they will be considered as different variables and i'll demo that then the last point is very important so you cannot use the reserved keywords for naming a variable so there are reserved keywords in Python and I'll explain you what, what all those reserve, reserve keywords are and where you can find it. So you will be going through the Python documentation and understanding all of these. Okay, so let's go to PyCharm and I will explain you all these variable rules. So here let me create a new Python file and I'll name it as Python variable variables. Okay, and now Let's start with the first point. So variable name must start with the letter or the underscore character. Okay. So say for example, I start a variable with a number. Okay. So number and then I'll say test. So just the name of the variable. And if I assign some, some string there. Okay. So say for example, RCV Academy string, I assign it to it. You will see the error is being thrown, right? So this is what the second rule says basically you cannot start a variable with number okay so it has to start with the letter or it can start with the underscore so i can use underscore test as well to define my variable and that should be fine so if i print underscore test now then it should print the value that i have stored in this particular variable right so rcv academy printed now we have understood about the first and second rule now the third rule said that a variable name can only contain alpha numeric. So what it means is that we can only use the uppercase A to Z, zero to nine and underscore. So uh, we can define something like RCV nine or RCV eight underscore test as variable name. That's a valid variable name. You can use it and I can specify any value to it. Right, so I can use the numbers in between, but you cannot use it in the start. Okay, so in the start, you can only start with the character, uh, the alphabets and underscore. Okay, so either of those. Then within the variable name, I can, I can use the number as well. Okay, so if I print this variable now, then it should print the integer value for me. Okay, so let me run this. And you can see both of these values got printed. Now the variables are case sensitive. So that means if I define a variable as RCV8 underscore test and assign some value to it, assign different value. And then I say RCV8 underscore test and assign a different value. And if I print these, so you can see that they are considered as different and if i print this one and i print the uppercase one right so you can see there is no error if i run this 
the values respective values will be printed right so rcv a test the value got printed here and then uppercase rcv got printed here so all these variables are case sensitive so if you are defining a variable and the name is exactly same but the letters are uppercase and lowercase they are different okay so that's about the variable defining and some of the rules now the last rule says you cannot use the reserved keywords for naming the variable so now what exactly are the reserved keywords so before we go into the code i'll open the documentation the python documentation so whenever you are trying to learn any of the programming language the official documentation of the programming language is the first place you should be looking for so there are lots and lots of information available over the internet but whatever information is coming from the official website is the latest information and the most accurate information that you will get for that particular language and for that particular version that you are using so we'll open the python documentation so i'll simply go to the python documentation search for docs.python.com or just search for python documentation in google go to this 3.9.1 this is the version that is stable version that we are using right so this is the official documentation and this should be your starting point it doesn't matter you are a beginner or you don't know anything about python do not get intimidated with the details that you see on this particular documentation because this is a massive documentation but as we go along i'll walk you through how to understand this documentation and use it in a best way for your learning so here library reference is what we'll be going very frequently so library reference it says keep this under your pillow right so this is very important stuff so we'll go to library reference and simply search for keywords because we are learning for keyword so we'll see what keywords are so if you go to this particular keyword dot py file it also shows where you will find this keyword file okay so this is in the lib so wherever you have installed your python so say for example if i go to uh, so it's in the c program files and i will go to the python 3.9 and you go to the capital lib lib and here you will see keyword.py file right so this is the file that they are referring to you can open and have a look at it but as part of you know testing you don't need to actually get into the details of those files these are the library files within python but it actually shows you where you can find this file okay now this is the module which allows a python program to determine uh, if a string is a keyword or not so now python has defined certain reserved keywords okay and these keywords you cannot use as your variable so that's what the key thing to understand here is and this particular module will help you to understand what all keywords are defined now if you go over the internet you will you will find a lot of sheets that are available but i would prefer you coming here and click on this keyword link and you will get the latest keywords for that particular version so these are the reserved keywords uh, that are available in the python 3.9 and these keywords you cannot use as variables okay so i cannot use return as a variable so if i go here in pycharm and if i say return and want to assign certain value here right i'll see straight away error okay so you will see that it throws an error and it doesn't accept that if i just change this to a different word apart from the keyword it should be fine right so i just added an extra n and now it is not the keyword from the reserved keywords of the python library it should be fine right so i can now go ahead and print the value that is stored in this particular variable right so you can see now it is printed so the rule is you cannot use the reserved keywords in python as your variables okay now if we go to this documentation here so you can see you can find or you can get the list of keywords so if you just type in keyword.kw list then you will get the sequence or the list of keywords that are defined in this particular version and maybe in next version there are few more additions of the keyword so that's why this documentation is important because you get the latest and most updated information based on the version okay so how we'll use this particular module so to use the module i'll simply explain that so say for example i want to find if a keyword if a variable that i'm defining is a keyword 
reserved keyword or not you simply import this module so uh, you say uh, import and you say keyword right so now you can use all the classes that are available within this module so what are the classes so kw list or is keyword so keyword dot if you say dot you will see this kw list appeared right and this is the kite recommendation the plugin that i installed so this is very helpful uh, the kite recommendations and if you haven't watched the previous tutorial where i have explained how to set up kite go ahead and set it set it up because otherwise you won't be able to get all these recommendations that i'm seeing on my screen so simply select kw list and it will return the list okay so i what i can do is i can either store it in some sort of variable and print the value in the variable so i can simply say um i'll say keyword list okay and it will return and store it in the keyword list and i can print this list okay so i can say print uh, keyword list right and if i run this now so you can see this is the list of keywords that got printed right let me copy it and i'll open notepad and i'll paste this list of keywords here okay so let me delete this one and this is the list that is the most latest list of the keywords within python 3.9.1 okay so these are the keywords that you cannot use as your variables so if i want to use any of these try while with yield return as the variable to define the variable name if i say return and i define this as as the variable name then i can't i'll get the error okay or if i use try i can't okay if i change it then i can okay so these are some of the very important variable rules and the important class that we discussed on the module is the keyword module you can use this module to get the latest list of the keywords defined in that particular python version and then you can also use the methods like keyword so there are four functions so keyword dot is keyword right so if you if you want to see that whether this particular you know keyword say for example you have to pass string within it so if, if i want to find out whether this particular try string or a, is is a keyword then i can use this is keyword and this returns the boolean so i can directly print it or i can store it in a variable so i, I can also do like this okay so this will directly print whether this is a keyword or not and it will print true or false so you can see that it has printed true right it has printed the keyword list which is this one and then it has printed whether is keyword try is a keyword then it has printed true if i change this to just give me a sec if i change this to something else and run this then it will print false right so this is how you you know slowly build your skill in any programming language and it's not difficult it's basically following the right set of documentation so here you can see that i have directly came to the doc official documentation open the documentation um imported the module so this is the module so i imported the module then i use the uh, function K kw list to get the keywords that are defined in this particular version is keyword is the method that we'll be using to check whether the keyword is user is the reserved keyword or it's not right then is soft keyword and and soft keyword list is a new in the version 3.9 do not bother too much about these uh, because we are not going into the advanced python development stuff it, it is more of an automation so i want to keep it simple these two functions methods are good enough for you to understand and explore about the keywords or the reserve keywords within python and also understand the rules of the python variable okay so to reiterate what we have learned we have learned some of the key variable rules when you are defining variables within python and understand about the reserved keywords within python so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching